Hey guys, so welcome back. My house is a mess. Let's just call it what it is. It's kind of trashed right now. So I thought I'd do a quick speed clean with me video and share my top five favorite tips. I've kicked the family outside. I don't even want them to help. I don't even want to see their face. Mommy's having some mommy time. So let's get started. My first tip is to have a tidy tote. I got this from Walmart years ago. It's actually just a laundry tote with, with straps. You can use an old diaper bag, a shopping bag, even a laundry hamper works. This is about having a place to put all of that stuff that doesn't belong. So you don't have to bounce from room to room to room putting things away. I also like to keep my cleaning supplies in here so I can just stay in the room. I have a tendency to get really easily distracted. I carry it with me from room to room, and as I move to the next room, anything in the tidy tote that belongs in that space, I put it away then. My next tip is having a one product wonder. So it's a multi-purpose cleaner that can be used on all surfaces like stone, glass, wood, you name it. Just make sure you're choosing a product that can even be used on glass but doesn't have ammonia or vinegar in it. So it's safe for all your surfaces. This means you can have one product, one rag, run around your home and clean all of those sticky, dirty surfaces in a second. leads me to my next speed cleaning tip, which is spray and walk away technique. Use your cleaning supplies for those gross areas like bathrooms, maybe your toilet, your shower, you've got, I don't know, your sink, your stove top. Spray it down with cleaner and walk away and do another room or another area that needs tidying while the cleaning product like does its thing. I always spray down the entire bathroom and then go do other areas and when I come back to the bathroom, you just have to rinse the product away and the grime goes with it. So no deep down scrubbing. If you have mold or something like really bad, don't be afraid to use some harsh chemicals. Some of you might not agree with that, but I'm just like, bring on the bleach because I'm lazy. Once you've tidied and wiped down like major surfaces, it's time to dust. I love this dusting wand. You can see how dirty it is. That's how often it gets used. But you always want to dust top to bottom. So this is perfect for like, look it, look it, ceilings and spiders and cobwebs and picture frames and rods that go across that hold curtains. That's the word, curtain rods. Um, I just love this. You don't have to move all of your stuff. It's just like, it's a quick dusty McDoodle and you're done. And last but not least, let's talk about what we do last, and that is your floors. Your floors are always the very last thing you do when you're done cleaning a space. I like to do all the rooms tidy and dust and, and get everything done and then go through a quick vacuum. I'm talking just high traffic areas and visible crumbs and dust and hair, and then a spot mop using a spray mop. It's fast, it's easy, no buckets required. I can quickly mop this entire area in about five to 10 minutes, which is like, that's all the time I'm going to dedicate to my floors. Let's be honest. A quick speed clean is all about working smarter, not harder. You don't have to kick it old school and scrub on your hands and knees. This isn't about making your place perfect. It's about catching up so you can enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're feeling inspired to speed clean your house today and I'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, thanks so much for those of you who have stayed to the end. I'm ready for Corona time to be over now. We live here in Canada and everything's still really locked down. They just opened parks like a couple of days ago so you could play in a playground. Big whoop. I mean, I get it. I get it. We're keeping people safe and we're all doing our part, but also I want my children to go away now. Grandma's house for a sleepover sounds amazing. I cannot wait. School's been canceled till September. My husband's here. They're just here all the time up in my space, just doing their own thing. And I love them, I love them, but I also want to love them from afar sometimes. 
Please tell me you can relate. Who else is sick of their family? They're also very messy, which I'm always like, I'm so blessed. My family picks up after themselves and they do for the most part, but five people in a pretty small house just living in it all day, meals and snacks and just everyone's up in our faces. It's equaled a lot of mess. And I kind of gave up recently, which is why my house got bad, but I'm catching up. I feel good. I feel good. Fresh start and it really didn't take very long, but uh, let me know in the comments below if you also want to drop kick your family to the road or just at least, I don't know, risk your parents' health by sending them to grandma's house. I'm not going to do that. I'm just joking. I'm not, I'm kind of not joking, but I'm not going to do it. I just really want to do it. At least they're outside and they're in the pool. Oh, I have like five minutes of quiet. Anyways, I'll see you guys next time.